Hi there, I just finished reading this book by Brian Burke called The Hands-Off Investor. Uh, if you have not read this book and you are interested in investing passively in real estate, it is an awesome read. So this book basically it has a lot of details about how real estate deals are structured, particularly real estate syndication deals. I was really impressed with the level of detail that he goes into on vetting a sponsor and even the whole approach of being the hands-off investor. It sounds to me sounded kind of like a funny name, but uh, he basically explains, you know, as a passive investor, you are, you, you're, you're hands-off. Your goal is not to be the one who is involved in the property. And that's one of the benefits of multifamily syndication, which is what I invest in, what I bring investors to, because it provides a lot of benefits. So a lot of people wonder, how do I learn more about this investment class and how do I really get involved? So this book really goes over a lot of details of all of that, what it means to understand a deal, how do you look at deals, how do you vet sponsors, uh, what happens when sponsors are doing their job, what happens when they're not doing their job, what are red flags to look for. He's got many stories in here of you know great operators and how they operate. He's got horror stories of things to be aware of, things to avoid, uh, even tricks sponsors can play in different ways. And so as an investor, you know, really it's been said, no one cares about your investment the way that you do, right? So this book really gives uh, a lot of information to really help you to uh, understand where your money's going, how the investment works, and really the biggest thing that I find as an investor as well as an operator is really creating healthy expectations for investors and what really uh, is good for a deal. So the book really talks a lot about this. Uh, really there's two reasons why I think uh, you should read this book. Uh, the first thing is that it will help you to understand the investment better. It, again, it goes into quite a bit of detail. It's 350 pages packed full of stuff. Uh, it, it, you know, it took me a little time to read through it just because there was a lot of great information in here. Uh, as you, you may know, I'm a Warren Buffett fan and he says, you know, we don't invest in anything we don't understand. And so the idea of if you're new to this, you're new to multifamily syndication, real estate, passive investing, this is a way that you can really understand how to invest in a way that's wise, that you know you're with a good operator, that you know you're in a good deal. And so that's uh, one of the reasons is it gives you a much better understanding of how it all works. The second reason is that this book is also a great uh, reference. So as you, as you look at deals, you can go back and say, okay, well, what, what does this look like? Or the waterfall, if there's a preferred return or not, or what, what are some returns, or what are things I should look for in the operating agreement or other things. So there's a lot of detail about that, which I think is just really, really important. So um, I guess in summary with this, uh, the downside I would say of this book is it is a bit dense. And so, you know, being an operator, it even took me a while to get through it. And there's some stuff that I, I learned quite a bit by going through this just because of Brian's, you know, 30 years of experience of being an operator, doing, you know, thousands of units, even hundreds of, of flips on individual single family houses. So he's got a, a really broad range of industry experience, but it can be a little bit dense. He does provide some details of, uh, you know, some highlighted areas that, hey, if you're trying to skim it, you can skim it and just get a little bit of information about it. But I really do give this book uh, two thumbs up. I think that every Everybody should read it if you are interested in investing in passive uh, multifamily syndication or other types of real estate deals such as shopping centers or other sort of uh, you know, office space, other types of investments within the real estate sphere. So give it, I, I give this a high recommendation. I'd love to know if you have read this book or when you do read it, would you please put your comments below and uh, yeah, I hope this video was valuable to you and uh, please uh, you know, let me know what you think. Thanks so much.